I'm outside Ipswich Town Hall where the sun is shining and people are doing their shopping. But what really stands out are the group of young children coming out to protest climate change. Hello, what's your name? Elsie. Elsie, I hear you have a lovely speech for me. Would you like to tell me what that speech is? Yeah. I want the government to act now. I want the people to wake up and demand change. I want a healthy planet. I want a future. Elsie and her friends aren't the only ones calling for change. Many of these young children are out here with their parents, who are also protesting climate change. So, how do you feel about your daughter coming out here to protest climate change? I mean, I think it's a lot for young people to chew. Like, it's a really serious situation that we face. But we're out of options now. The children have got to take the lead on this because the adults just aren't leading us. Well, it's a Friday and normally she would be in school. Doesn't it bother you that she's not in school right now? Well, I don't feel like the state system um, can provide the same level of education that I can for them. Um, I don't believe that the state education system are taking climate change seriously. And so I don't think that these children would be better off in school at all. Like they're here fighting for their futures and nobody else is going to do that for them. The people who can fight for these children are also at the protest. Rachel smith Light is a district councillor here in Ipswich, and this is what she had to say. How do you feel about these children, instead of being in school on a Friday, coming out to protest climate change? Um, I suppose I would say this, but I think it's excellent these children are here today. It's really sad that they are in a way because they shouldn't have to be doing this. Uh, our generation, previous generations, uh, some of us have been trying for a very long time, mind you. But they, it shouldn't have got to this point, really, that they're having to do this. But they are having to do this. Make no mistake about it. It's one thing for these children to come out here to try and advocate for this cause. But what are you, as an adult, as a local councillor, doing to help prevent climate change? Uh, I've been a Greenpeace activist for about 25 years. I've chained myself to petrol pumps in Norwich. Uh, I've chained myself to Aldermaston, um, a nuclear weapon facility, a very long time ago now. Uh, I've been campaigning various organisations for an awfully long time, both as an individual and a group. I'm now uh, got into uh, politics with a small p uh, as, a, as a local councillor, and I'm part of a green group of four of us on the Suffolk Council. Uh, we've already formed an opposition with other independents and some Lib Dems. And we're going to fight uh, very hard for greening of our area um, and to declare we actually want to get a climate emergency declared on East Suffolk Council. So that's on the top of my agenda to do next on my list. While it might take some time to implement these policies, one thing that's certain is that these children will not be backing down anytime soon. Kafirio Pato, reporting from Ipswich Town Hall.